What's up, Psychonetics? Before we jump into the video, I do want to say that I stream on Twitch now. It's twitch.tv slash Psychonetic. My stream schedule is Monday through Friday, 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. If you do want to see some gameplay, head on over there and drop me a follow. I really appreciate it. Today, we're going to be talking about a game that has brought a lot of excitement to me ever since Epic Games took Paragon away from us. And that is Predecessor. Of course, we're going to get into some gameplay so that you guys can see. And I guess what I mean by gameplay is the teaser trailer that they dropped just yesterday. So without any further ado, let's get to the gameplay. I mean, right off the bat, I want to say that this game looks absolutely amazing. The visuals, the elimination scenes, even the announcer sounds really, really good. I mean, the game just, it looks so much like Paragon. And I'd even go off in saying that it looks better. I mean, it's super clear. The map looks great. It's like a mixture of Monolith and Legacy, which I'm actually kind of pumped for because I liked the layout of Monolith. I was able to play a Legacy-type Paragon when Overprime released their little uh, their little test server, and I liked it. Don't get me wrong. It looked good, but I definitely wasn't used to it. When I played Paragon, Monolith had just came out. And I enjoyed that it was a smaller map. It was visually pleasing. Not that Legacy wasn't. I think it was just easier to follow. So I, I do like to see a mixture of the two. Like this map layout here is absolutely beautiful. I love the look. You can see the jungle there. You can see a lot of sim similarities towards, towards Monolith. And overall, I'm just super excited for this game. As you saw there, the closed alpha is just in a few days. Uh, today I recorded this on July 6th. This is dropping on July 20th. You have to go over to omedastudios.com slash alpha in order to sign up for it. I will leave a link down in chat on how you can sign up. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of information that I, that I can give out. Honestly, I only know as much as what most of the community knows. Fault is another one. Uh, visually, I don't think Fault holds up to Predecessor. In my opinion, um, Predecessor looks amazing. Now, of course, I've never played Fault, so I don't know how the games feel. But, I mean, from day one, I've kind of already had my bets on Predecessor. I wish it wasn't a closed alpha, because like Fault, Fault is opening up into an early access. So they did not state that this was going to be closed by any means. Fault's coming out about seven days later, so on the 17th. I don't know if Predecessor's going to make this a short closed alpha, maybe to become in, to compete with Fault in player base. But if I had to put bets down, I would definitely say that Predecessor's probably going to come out top, come out on top. You got two companies working on the same game. I've always said one of these is, of course, going to overshadow the other one. One is going to win when it comes to popularity and funding i think predecessor is going to be the one to do it i did put in for the alpha myself i'm really i'm crossing my fingers i really want to get into it um if i do of course i'll be letting you guys know through twitter so go ahead and follow me over there on twitter at psychonetic so the same name that you see on the youtube channel here and hopefully here in just a few days i'll be over there on twitch streaming predecessor so psychonetics thanks for watching this video i hope you have a great rest of your day hit that subscribe button like if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you over there on twitch psycho out